And we are back. Did you know that three out of five Americans are uncertain about which seafood is sustainable? Well, research indicates 82% of consumers prefer wild and sustainable seafood, yet many still seek additional cooking ideas and guidance on selecting the best options for their plate. Now, joining us now, registered dietitian, nutritionist, Roxana Asani, and thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. Great. I'm excited to have this conversation because a lot of people talk about wild and sustainable. And for the average person who may not know about wild and sustainable, how do we first of all define it? Yeah, so wild and sustainable means that you're choosing seafood that has come from a natural environment. And Alaska has sustainability as part of their constitution. And all seafood that comes from Alaska is wild, natural, and sustainable. And when we talk about being wild and sustainable, a lot of people are definitely going in that direction. Uh, when we talk about going in that direction, it's definitely a healthier benefit. Talk to us about the health benefits, particularly when you have wild and sustainable in your diet. Yes, absolutely. There's so many. So it's a high quality source of protein. It's also a naturally occurring source of omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, which support immune and heart health. And it also contains immune boosting vitamins and minerals, including vitamin D, vitamin A, selenium, zinc, and glutamine. And emerging research is showing how healthy seafood from Alaska really is. It contains more of the nutrients that we want and less of the contaminants that we don't want, really making it a nutritious choice for the entire family. Talk about choice, you know, there are a lot of choices out there. And when you talk about all these different choices out there, somebody could get something and really, it may not be wild and sustainable. We see the knockoffs and we are not necessarily so sure as to what we're bringing home. What are the defining factors in knowing that you're bringing something that's wild and sustainable back into your home? Yeah, so the easiest thing you can do is ask for Alaska. So when you're at the seafood counter at your local grocery store, ask for Alaska. Or if you're purchasing frozen or canned, look for Alaska on the packaging itself. Or if you're dining out, you can look for Alaska on the menu. This is really the easiest and simplest way to guarantee that you're purchasing wild and sustainably harvested seafood every time. Yeah. And so when we're looking around, uh, you know, trying to say about, I want to make the right decision. I want to make sure that I got my food right. I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Give me some tips in terms of like preparing and getting that preparation mm -hmm. in order because that's 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 pretty important as well. Yeah, it's so easy to prepare seafood. You know, a lot of people think it's difficult or challenging to cook and prepare when in reality you can grill it, saute it, pan sear it, fresh or frozen, and you can have a meal on the table in 15 minutes. So it's really one of the fastest and easiest proteins that you can whip up. And if you absolutely have no time, you can always open up a can of wild Alaska salmon and add it to finished dishes like a salad, grain bowl, or cooked pasta, for example. Give me an idea. You got some recipes there you can share? I do. I have two quick and easy recipes that are perfect for summer grilling season. My first one is wild caught Alaska sockeye salmon skewers with pineapple. This is great for anyone who loves that sweet and savory combo. This can be grilled up within 10 minutes. My second recipe is wild Alaska sable fish with miso and sesame greens. If you have not tried sable fish already, I highly encourage you to give it a try. It is rich, buttery, silky. It will melt right in your mouth and it's rich in those omega-3 fatty acids like our salmon is. And this fish can be grilled within about five minutes and you can serve it with these sauteed garlicky ginger greens that just take another five minutes in a pan. And it seems so quick and easy. Uh, many people get the misconception that, listen, it may take me a minute to get this thing right, but uh, the reality is you can have this done in a few minutes, huh? Absolutely. So quick and easy. So for people out there who are trying to get more information, what's the best way that they go about finding out the best information, the most reliable information? So for more information, recipe tips, cooking tips, you can visit alaskaseafood.org. And how, proper, how popular, should I say right now, is wild and sustainable? I mean, we hear, I mean, in a lot of conversations that I'm having, I'm hearing a lot of people talk more and more 
about wild and sustainable, and definitely Alaska is right at the forefront. Absolutely, it is. Well, I want to tell you so much. Thank you so much for being with us about the wild and sustainable. We certainly got some recipes out there that we can share with our viewers. And listen, Roxanne, I mean, if people want to know, you can get it done in like 10 minutes or less. I think that's a win-win. And uh, I'll give you some final thoughts before we leave. All right. Thank you. Well, you know, you, wild-caught seafood from Alaska is available year-round, fresh, frozen, or canned. So look out for salmon, cod, halibut, sablefish, pollock, and crab, because you can find it at local stores. All right, Roxanne, thank you so much for being with us. And I uh, want to let our viewers know, if you want more information, go ahead and visit the website, alaskaseafood.org.